Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw Logan. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw the piece of hair on his forehead with a curve line arching upwards to the left. Turn it downwards on the left side right there and sharp turn back up to the same point right there on the right side i'm going to draw a line upwards turn it diagonally to the side turn it downwards on the right side right there and a curve line downwards to the side of his face turn it back inwards at this lower point and another curve line downwards from that point to the side of his chin. On the left side, I'm gonna copy the same shape again. A diagonal line to the middle point on both sides and a curve line across for his chin. Now at the side of the jaw right there, I'm gonna draw his beard with curve line sideways to the left zigzag line at the side right there curve line out from that point sharp turn back inwards a diagonal curve line upwards and out at that point sharp turn back inwards and up Sharp turn sideways to the middle of his head above, slightly upwards and back down in the middle point. I'm gonna mirror the whole hair shape and the beard shape on the right side as well. Now along his hair, I'm gonna draw a curve line across in that section right there. And I'm gonna draw a random set of lines. Some are short and some are full line. And at the side here, I'm gonna draw it sideways. And slightly downwards at this bottom point. I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side as well, right here. Now for his eyebrow, I'm gonna take this point off center and draw a diagonal line to the right and down. Diagonal turn back upwards at the outer corner, turn it sideways. And for the upper line of that eyebrow, I'm gonna copy the same shape again right there. And for his eye, I'm gonna draw across a line below the eyebrow. Diagonal turn downwards on both the inner corner and the outer corner. For the lower line of his eye, I'm gonna draw across a curve line right there. Inside of that, in the middle point, I'm gonna draw a curve line on the left side and on the right side for his pupil. Below the eye, I'm gonna draw a curve line across right there. And I'm gonna copy the same eye shape and the eyebrow shape on the left side right here. For his nose, I'm gonna draw across a curve line in between the eye right there, turn it downwards on the right side. Below that, a semicircle line across for the tip of his nose. Diagonal turn upwards on the right side right there and turn it up. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side as well. Now 
at the side of the nose I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line outwards and down on both the left and right. Now for his mouth I'm gonna draw a diagonal line from the outer corner right here and on both corners I'm gonna turn the mouth downwards and in the middle point a curve line across and turn it back diagonally down at the side. Curve line across in the middle below that and another arch curve line below that for the top of his chin. Now below his beard at the side I'm gonna draw his necklace with circular shape and I'm gonna draw it downwards at the side here turn it inwards as we go lower right there and at that point I'm gonna draw a rectangle shape with circular corners like that and another one below that and I'm gonna mirror the same shape of the necklace on the right side here as well. At the side of that necklace I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally out, a line down for his shirt, same as a good turn to the middle point and a curve line across. Mirror that same shape on the right side here as well. Turn it outwards at the side, turn it back down and turn it diagonally out at this lower point. Turn it downwards at that outer corner and turn it back slightly inwards below that with the diagonal line. Extended line inwards towards his waist and turn it downwards at the waist right there and for his shoulder I'm gonna draw a curve line diagonally out same as a good turn at the shoulder right there turn it downwards at the side and another curve line below that diagonally out and for the inner line of the arm I'm gonna mirror the same shape right there and below the elbow point I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards turn it diagonally out and sideways and I'm gonna do the same thing for the outer line as well and turn it out for his thumb I'm gonna draw a curve line across semi scoot turn downwards semi scoot turn back to the left and for the other fingers I'm gonna draw a curve line across at the side of the thumb right there semi scoot turn downwards Copy the same shape again for the other fingers right here and turn it sideways at that corner. Now going back to the side of the finger on top I'm going to draw a semicircle line downwards at this corner. Semicircle turn back in towards the wrist and turn it slightly upwards at the wrist right there. And I'm going to extend the line of the arm all the way to the wrist right there and at the side of the thumb a curve line downwards and I'm gonna copy the arms on the right side as well now for the buckle of his belt I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at this middle point right here and inside of that I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape at the outer corner, diagonal line to the middle point at the corners above, right there, mirror that same shape at this lower point, and at the side I'm gonna trace that diagonal line At the side of the buckle on the right, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line right there and mirror the same shape again at this lower point. And at the outer corner, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there 
in on the right side as well. For the upper line of the belt, I'm going to draw across the curve line. And on the right side as well. Turn it downwards at the side. And another curve line for the lower line of the belt right there. Above the belt, I'm going to draw across a curve line for the top point of his pants and turn it downwards at the side. Now for his pants below the buckle, I'm going to draw across a curve line right there. And below the belt at the side, I'm going to draw a curve line. Turn it diagonally outwards and back downwards towards his knee point. Turn it downwards at the knee point right there. Wavy line below the knee point right there all the way to the bottom of his pants. Curve line across right there to the side and turn it sideways. For the inner line of the pants, I'm gonna draw some wavy lines upwards, turn it out and turn it back inwards. To the side of the knee right there, another curve line across and a curve line upwards diagonally all the way to the middle point of his pants. Now for his shoes, I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line at the front here, outwards. Seems to turn downwards at the front tip of the shoe right there. Curve line across. Diagonal turn upwards. Turn it downwards across at the back and a curve line upwards all the way to the pants. Slightly above the base of the shoe, I'm going to trace the same line across at this front point. And at the side here, I'm going to turn it diagonally upwards, extend it all the way to the back of the shoes. At the front of the shoe, I'm going to draw a curve line across, sideways, and turn it downwards. At the side of the pants, at the inner line, I'm going to trace the same line right there all the way to the middle point above. And below the buckle, I'm going to draw a line downwards. On the right side of that, another line downwards. Turn it diagonally to the left. And for the pocket on the left, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. Same so could turn diagonally out at the side. For the tear in his pants on the left side, I'm going to draw a diagonal line right there. Turn it upwards, back diagonally down, curve line across back to the upper point at the side. Below that, I'm going to draw some zigzag line across to the inner point right there. Now I'm going to copy the whole pants and shoe shape on the right side. Now for the tear on his shirt, I'm going to draw on the left side here a diagonal curve line across, sideways, diagonal turn downwards, sharp turn back up on the right side, sideways, turn it upwards diagonally, Sharp turn back down on the left side, sharp turn back up to that point. And on the right side, I'm going to draw above his waist a line diagonally up, turn it back down, sharp turn back to the side. And from the same inner point, I'm going to draw another diagonal line out, zigzag line across to the side of his waist. And I'm going to add some definition to his body and below the head, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards at the side of the chin right there. And I'm going to draw a similar line on the right side as well. Below that, a semicircle line across on both points, a line down in the middle point of his chest. And below that, at the side, I'm going to draw a curve line across, diagonal turn upwards. 
mirror that on the right side as well and below that I'm gonna draw a line in the middle at the side of that at this lower point I'm gonna draw a curved line across and on the right side as well copy the same shape again at this lower point and on his arm a diagonal curve line at that corner a line down at the side below that a diagonal curve line across and another line downwards copy the same shape on the right side here as well like that And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.